short meeting once again from shortmeeting.com uh doing a video recap for ticker hmny i'm rounding out the uh week with this video i did one yesterday not you know it was i think like the last you know 30 seconds or the last minute or so it was focused on technical analysis but the video i did yesterday definitely just talked about kind of moving on you know if you're sitting on a, a great deal of losses if you're sitting on a substantial loss like i know a lot of folks are you know just seeing this as a for what it is which is a lesson uh and a constant reminder you know to not put all your eggs in one basket to ensure that you're um adequately position sizing uh to ensure that you're man managing risk and all those great things that helps you to protect your money and grow your money and to protect your portfolio that's what the uh, theme was with the analysis I did on HMNY yesterday. So I'll just fast forward here. It seems that as though we're up a little bit in pre-market, uh, rather after hours. I think we're up about 3%. I think we closed at 0 0.029. Uh, and again, we're up about 3% and we're sitting at $0.03. Cents. So, you know, this is an hourly chart, again, dating back to, I don't know, yesterday more or less uh, and just even you know yesterday where we placed or we put in extreme lows today we're putting up lower lows right every single day we are putting in lower lows for ticker HMNY which tells me again that everyone is getting rid of the stock so just pay attention down here this is volume right and i always tell people a picture is worth a picture is worth a thousand words so despite what you think about the stock what is this saying obviously red denotes selling and green denotes buying right uh, and uh you know the longer the bar the more volume for that particular hour because it's an hourly chart so just looking at the picture here you don't see a lot of buying in fact you see massive selling nothing but selling so that tells me well you know what get it's just not the time to get into this stock i don't think there is going to be a time even with the reverse split you're still sitting here at around three cents like that's the best that this can do the you know the the uh the the market can't even pump this stock much less sustain a pump right i think we might have had some you know 20 or 30 percent pops but those pops have all been faded all right so definitely lesson if you're sitting on substantial losses if you still have money you can always make your money back but going forward this is a lesson trade well that should be the theme going forward what's the lesson if i'm sitting on substantial losses at hmny the lesson is trade better okay learn to trade well if you go to shortmeetita.com and sign up we talk about all these lessons to safeguard you from losing a lot of money in the market and definitely we try to help you make money uh so if you wonder well what stock should i you know pay attention to so i'm going to open up a browser here and just go to shortmeetita.com which is my website right and then you click on swing trading watch list Every single uh, Sunday, I release a watch list for free. And it essentially talks about stocks that I think have the potential to, you know, make folks money, premium premium members and uh, free subscribers. So we can take a look at uh, ticker UAA. We got into, meaning premium members, we got into this stock when it was around 15. Most recently, we saw a pump or rather a a boost to $24, right? Granted, the stock has pulled back some. It's about, it's sitting at 20, but we've still earned $5 for every share owned. And at one point we were up about $9 for every share owned. And I think that the, the and I have a target of $28. So sitting at 20, I still see $8 of upside left. What else do we have? I will talk about AMC later. Canada Goose, right? Stock is sitting now at around $50. When I first uh, spoke to members about this stock, I think it was trading at around, don't quote me, like in the low 20s. So we've made about $30 for each share owned, right? Uh, the most recent high in Canada Goose was around, um, I want to say six, don't call me because I don't have the charts in front of me. I want to say the most recent high for Canada Goose was in the high 60s. So, you know, getting it at around 20 or 30, we were able to make $30 for each share owned, right? Let's go to weed, right? Um, uh, the ticker is WEED on the Toronto Exchange. Most recently it was listed, I believe, on a New York Stock Exchange. The uh, ticker is CGC uh cgc up about let's see let me look at another screen here for a second cgc 
up about 8% on the day. This week, the stock was up about 30, 30%, right? When I first alerted members to ticker weed, uh, weed right, the stock was trading at around, um, well, when, when it first came on my radar, stock was trading at around $12. I think when I put it on my 2018 list of stocks to succeed, I think it was trading at around 17 So again, we've earned about 23 or $20, $20 for every share owned, right? Let's go to box, another premium. Anyway, so, and, and I'm not gonna run it down with the box, but also too, another stock that has gotten investors about an extra ten dollars uh, for every share owned so if you you know took a stake in box when I thought it was a good uh, trade idea you'd be up you'd have you know a thousand dollars or you'd have an extra ten dollars for every share owned if you had 200 trade you had two thousand dollars three hundred three thousand so on and so forth so I say that to say don't Back to HMOI. I say that to say, don't stress this, right? Everything is about, you know, position sizing accordingly. You're going to lose some. That's the name of the game. Talk to any professional trader, right? There are going to be losses. The point of the this game is to ensure that your losses are kept small and that you have the fortitude, right, and the ability to hold on to stocks that are winning. And like I said, if you're unsure as to, you know, where to look for the market in terms of trade ideas, I told you what to do. Go to shortmetina.com and become a member. And also, to every Sunday night, feel free to just come to my website and click on the Swing Trading Watch List tab. I usually, you know, give for free to, you know, people that are in the market, my way of paying it forward, I give them ideas. You don't have to get into any of them. You can get into all, none, but they really are there to just hear. Here's what I'm looking at, right? Based on technical analysis, these stocks look that they can, looks like they can run. And then you go from there. And if you want like that extra layer, then obviously you become a premium member. But if you can do it on your own, then take my ideas and do what you want with them. Okay? So short me here short me Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. Doing an analysis on HMNY, but also letting folks know that there's other places you can go for trade ideas. Let go of this one. If you still have shares, hold on to it, move on. Lesson learned. So if you enjoyed any part of this video, it was a bit lengthy, uh, but I had a couple of things I wanted to get out th the way. Do two things for me. One, head on over to my YouTube page at ShortMeTeen and hit that subscribe button. You will never, ever miss a video. Then head on over to ShortMeTeen.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support.